is River Trips Adventure Sports. Delaware River Trip. I wonder what they do in the winter. And here I am on the Delaware River, put in maybe a mile back, I have about 14 miles to go. And it's a beautiful trip. The water's kind of placid up here, kind of still. There's one little ripple, and I'm sure as we go down in elevation, those ripples get stronger. Adventure Sports was really nice. The woman there, Tabitha, is excellent at customer service because I was having a hesitation about going with Adventure Outfitters here and it seemed a little bit complicated. But she was so reassuring, so in living in New Jersey for the last six months, I'd say this is the first time I experienced someone who knew what customer service was. Thank you, Tabitha, for making this trip pleasurable. Well, back to paddling. If you can see those forks, is where the Indians harpoon white men who don't like the local casinos. You just stick them in there to scare away the local tourist. If you notice the water's crystal clear. You can see down 10 feet, you can see the fish swimming by you. And some of them are really big fish. At one point, the Delaware River enters into the lakes that make up the New York City reservoir system. That's kind of interesting to know that I'm actually drinking this water and there's fish urine in it and in my bottle of water here there's worm urine so it's a difference come alive drink some you oh, that's the Pepsi generation and it must be getting waterlogged be back with you in a few minutes The water's very shallow here, so I have to go down. They said stick to the right, but the water seems to be going to the left here. And it's important to stay in the deep water because you can get hung up on these rocks right here. You can see I'm still alive. Casting into the current. Don't know if they're gonna catch anything. But trying pretty hard. Seems to have lost everybody else who's kayaking here. These neat campsites on the Delaware, but you have to reserve the spot, and this is Alosa campsites, camping by reservation only, or reservations call. Well, the bad thing about that is, if you have the wrong kind of service, you can't call anybody here. I particularly have T-Mobile. So I'm plumb out of luck. Alosa, Alosa, Aloha. Oh, well, here's a little bit of white water. A little bit of turbulence here. If I keep on filming, I'll end up flipping over here. Yes, I have to admit, life at the New York City has got extremely tough. Every now and I even have to paddle. <laughs> oh, it's turbulence. Will I make it? Will I make it through these rapids? Oh my God, I have a feeling the end is near. Oh, look, powerful waves, tsunamis. This is the end. 
Eh, this is just bullshit. I'm still alive. Oh no, the canoeist, and he's got motorboats. All right. It's truly a nice day out here in the Delaware River. Everyone should get out. I know there are days you say, no, I just, I'm too tired. Get out. You could take a bus here from the city. You could go on one of those adventure trips, or you could just drive here. Or you could call me up and drive me. It's exciting. Snakes, alligators, Bigfoot, hooker man, and the occasional tourist. The worst of all. They say paddling is not only good for your health, but it keeps the bondage community gainfully employed. Think about that. That's absolutely stupid. It's one of those days. Beautiful. There's a fly fisherman off in the distance. They're so graceful, just the way they cast. Here's where we get off, Smithfield Beach access point. I almost passed, it found me down in the Hudson River pretty soon. I forgot, Adventure Sports gives everyone a whistle. That's to keep the bears away. Let's see if it works. I don't know, I don't see any bears. Adventure Sports, time to go visit Sophie. It'll send you, set you back about $13.50. It's so the biggest this burger. Looks pretty big. They probably went out back and shot a moose. I gotta say, Sophie's burgers are good. They're delicious. 